Hey everybody, it's Gamma Mickey and I'm here on Magical Mickey Family here at Worlds of Fun for the 2021 Halloween Hunt. We are here at a theme park for some fun today, doing rides, eating lots of food, and doing the spooky haunted houses. So if you're new to our YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We are the Magical Mickey family. We vlog daily vlogs about our lives and about our obsession with Disney World. And we are literally 99 days from going to Walt Disney World again. And today we are here in Kansas City to do some fun haunted stuff. Let's do this. Sweating. It's like over 80 degrees, but the like, uh, it's like super muggy. Yuck. Anyway, uh, so we are still here in Snoopy Land. Aubrey is about ready to get on this belly riding thing. Oh my god, I'm so scared. <laughs> but she wants to ride on this, and we'll probably ride on this ride over here. She's just been riding all these rides here in Snoopy Land. She's having a good time. The other kids are still on the big roller coaster and have not gotten off of that yet. And I haven't seen any of the other dancers yet, so maybe we'll see them in a bit. Okay, I can definitely tell there is a difference in prices. I like the Charlie Brown lunchbox over there. That's really cute. Lots of cute little stuffed animals. Let's see what the stuffed animal prices are. Nice, big. Snoopy with this like little winter ears thing right here. Little paw prints on his ears like headphones. And let's see what his price is. $24.99. Okay, so there really wasn't that much of a price difference. Um, it's about $5 difference. The Disney Minnie Mouse plush, the 50th anniversary one, was $29.99 on the Shop Disney app compared to the Snoopy plush, about the same size for $24.99. Keep my grandbaby safe, please.
Wait, this one goes with that one, I think. <laughs> Evelyn, Evelyn, there's a stick in this one too. Look. Aubrey, you get in the back and then you can be in the front next time. We'll do it again. We'll take turns, yes? Okay. Seat belts on. Do you need help? No. I don't. Stop. I know, but grandma's grandma's extra careful. Hey. I've been sitting here for a little bit while the kids have been riding some rides. Abby, come here. So are you having fun? What are you doing? You wanna go more rides? Yeah. Okay, so let's compare rides to Disney World. Um, these are cute, they're like fair rides. You gotta hurry though. Oh my gosh, she's riding right after right after right, so that's fine with me. Um, it's more themed, I guess, at Disney World with Disney theming. Like this ride right now that she's on is kind of like a Dumbo ride. It, it's like a Dumbo thing or like the flying carpets. That's cute. I don't know, it's fun. So like, it's different. You have to come with an open mind when you come to a theme park like this, that you're here to have fun and ride rides and the cast members are truly different. It makes me really appreciate Disney, like so much. How the cast members are just so much more friendly and uh, engaging. Like it's fun here, but there's not like that Disney magic, that's for sure. But uh, other than that, like, we're having a good time. I'm hot, I'm tired, and I still have my haunted house to go into. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> I may be going home with Aubrey, not Courtney. <laughs> okay, this has been the craziest World of Fun event so far. Any thoughts, Slayer Court? It's been the absolute Here's the deal. Uh, Worlds of Fun was not prepared for the masses that are here. The, there's not as many food venues available or drink venues. I guess I'm just confused because I was told when I bought the group tickets that there was a cap of people and I was afraid we weren't going to get all our tickets in time to be able to be... Obviously there's the not a cap. And then, and you know what I told the bonds? And then I get here and I end up in dirt road parking lot. <laughs> yeah. We are comparing Disney rides, the kitty area, with uh, Worlds of Fun rides. Here's the difference. Disney World rides, they have multiple people working at each ride. What I've noticed here, the like cast members or the people that work here, they have one person. So one person who's running the whole ride has to go around and check the seat belts and make sure everything is secured, and then go and push the button to make the ride start. Kind of like at a carnival or a fair. So I feel a little sorry for these people that work here, that they're stuck with just one person per ride. There's nobody watching the queue, none of that kind of stuff, and it's kind of sad. They definitely need more help over there. Uh, so that would be something that I would give advice to for Worlds of Fun to do, is try and hire some extra people Especially on the super crowded days, like a Friday and a Saturday here in the Snoopy area, because little kids, they need to get through quicker. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Disney World, they definitely have more availability of ride time of being able to get through the queue quicker. 
and get on the ride quicker. So that's the difference. Okay, this is nuts. This is nuts, nuts, nuts. There's no way to get through here. Oh my lord. Oh, 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 foot, foot, foot. Thank you. Sorry. You're fine. She's good. Uh oh, somebody fell. Okay, so we're going to cut through here to go into the store, and then you cut through that store, and it takes you over there. Okay, that was super crazy. I had my foot ran over by someone on a scooter. <laughs> And it hurt my toe. Super creeper. Awesome. Okay, so we're off to find Addie because she didn't want to ride the prowler. So this is her mom. And I gotta walk through a scary zone. And I really don't want to. But we're trying to find the prowler. And I'm totally lost and scared. Oh my gosh, this group is huge. Look at this. And uh, Aubrey is not wanting to leave. So I guess we're, I don't think she's gonna go in the haunted house. But our group goes all the way to that piece of corn up there, that corn stalk down to here. So we got a big group this year going in the corn stalkers. It's our favorite. It's tradition. And I'm not sure if Aubrey's staying longer. We'll see. That's where we're going. You leaving? Okay, bye. Okay, wrap up of Corn Stalkers for 2021. Y'all took it to a whole nother level. That was so good. I was so scared. I literally almost peed my pants like three times. So good, so good, so good. The spider thing was the most epic. Okay, I was told on Facebook in a Facebook group page that this world's a fun Halloween haunt to go in the pumpkin eater thing. Oh my God, it was so good. That scared the crap out of me because I wasn't expecting it. But don't ever go with Patty because she likes to make it a workout. Yeah. Do you have light on here? Yeah, it goes up. Okay. That doesn't do anything either. Right? No, it did. No, it doesn't. It just will naturally turn on. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not know that this happens on the car, which I have the same vehicle. Watch this. So this is what she did. Because <laughs> I thought that it was like you pushed this. Well, really. To this make is, the car like. No, this is what it actually does. It does it on her own, its own. <laughs> so she's over here like, oh, I'm making it brighter, look. Okay guys, so we left the park early. I couldn't take it anymore. I have a major headache. We stopped and got some taco schmel, and which is another tradition of ours. We Earlier we had firehouse subs. So wrap up of today. Okay, if you are coming for the Halloween haunt, and you live in the Kansas City area, here's a couple things that you need to know. Number one, it's gonna be packed. 
because that was crazy. Number two, uh, you need to be aware of the fact that you cannot bring bags in past five o'clock. So if you have a backpack or whatever, you have to be able to go into the park before five o'clock or you won't be able to bring a bag in. And then um, Haunted House Wise, Corn Stalkers, again, baller, loved it. It was so good, scared me, almost peed my pants. It was amazing. I like the little pumpkin thing. Madeline didn't like it so much. I did because I felt like it had good like jump motion. It'd be good for like little kids. Yeah, but add some smoke or something to it because it was it was it was good. It was good. I liked it. It like it was stupid. Of course you would because you want constant like boo scare ya and not me. <laughs> I was gonna tell my kids this was Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly. You're a dork. It's a Rocky Horror Show. I know. Like, you're too funny. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, okay, so that is pretty much it for me wrapping up. Other than no food, um, Miss Lisa told me that she bought pizza and it cost her like 70 bucks because. Like 90 actually. Was it like $90 yeah. for her and her three, her two girls? Three girls because she bought Ryan food too. Oh, and she bought Ryan food. So, like, four. It was like 90 bucks, and it was like a slice of pizza about as big as what you can get at Casey's, you know, in the little turnstile. So, it's like not very big. Knots. And two little garlic twist knots that were nasty, no drink, and it was like 15 99 Yeah. Not good. There was no cinnamon roll station open. The, like, last time I was here, they had like this, um, I want to say it was like called Bloody Fingers and it was basically like funnel cake finger strips and then it had like this drizzle, raspberry drizzle. That one restaurant that we always go to that we would get our cheese fries and so forth was not available. Um, there was just not a lot of food options. So be prepared for that. And uh, if you have a season pass and you have the like plastic cup holder thing and you take that with you to the park you will be able to get drinks all night if you don't then you need to get a wristband and be able to do refills with a cup that you get from a restaurant that sucked and there weren't a lot of like water and pop stations so you have to go into gift shops and try and find those too yeah okay that was it for me i am sorry we did not stay longer i am old and this will probably be the last time i ever vlog in haunted houses for me because that physically hurt me i am 51 years old i'll be 52 next year i cannot do this i, got a bad knee. I can't do it no more. i cannot do this too much uh yeah okay, compare it oh, hold on comparing it to disney world Disney World. This is the bomb. I'm sorry. Bomb.com. Other than that, that's it for us. Do you have anything you want to say? I want to eat. Okay. She's hungry. I have to feed her. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching World's of Fun 2021. All right. Peace out. Bye. Boop.